well, I, I came from a middle-class family in a middle-class neighborhood. And my family was very close to the cultural things, uh, like the music, um, art, visual arts, uh, and the literature. I start because they sent me uh, to the first studio when I was 11 years old. And when I was 14 years old, they built a, a little house in the terrace of my house. Uh, and that, that place was the first atelier uh, in my world. In 1966, I, I realized uh, I can't stop painting, and uh, I feel my feeling was uh, I can start to work in, uh, in uh, very strong images, and I feel myself like an artist, like a professional artist. I don't like the, the word professional huh? because uh, here, like um, I have a factory. Uh, I prefer, I became uh, an artist, just like that, a visual artist. I started a series there, whose name is the, the not the Mutilate, I'm sorry, the, the Mutilate, in 73, three years before the, uh, the start of the very, very, very bad time in Argentina. I married in Argentina in 1982, and then we decided to go to the United States. I started to show my paintings because I met a, a guy, Mark McLeod, a, a, very good, a very good artist there, and he helped me. And I, I exhibited in the San Francisco Art Institute and uh, uh, Imago Gallery represent me for four years or five years. Uh, I receive a lot of uh, impact uh, from, from the art of the uh, United States. Then I changed because I received the impact of uh, the expression of the 60s. And then we start with uh, 
Playroom name. The series was uh, name was Playroom with some uh, figures, figures, and these uh, diabolic pets in, in the back. And what? What the evil in the family, in or no, the evil, I'll say the family involved in an evil situation. The curious thing is, these families look like an Argentinian family, absolutely, like a Peronista's family. I come back from from United States in 1991, and uh, I start I start working again here with my paintings, teaching. I open a big studio uh, and the suburbs too to teach. ¿Vas a trabajar ahora con qué color? Porque estás en ócres, en, en cremas. En... Sí. Bueno, entonces es una cosa. Fíjate la, en la paralela que es, en la pesca hay varias sí, paralelas. Sí. Empezar a contar con algunas horizontales. My um, parents, from my father's side, came to from Romania, uh, and he his father came in 1900 in a very big ship. My father, born, I said, born in Argentina, and, and he's, he's Ashkenazi, <laughs> a Jewish Ashkenazi. And my mother came from a Syria father. She, uh, he born in Syria, and my grandmother born in Manchester, India. In these uh, years, uh, the Turkish people, the Syrian people, they went to Manchester to choose a nice girl, a nice lady to marriage. And what I, what I know is the rest of the family born again from my mother's side in Italy. Me cago un pincel. No, porque esto para pintar las, las cosas de las multitudes no sirve, porque es demasiado blandito, ¿eh? Para nosotros, sí. ¿Cómo no? ¿Vamos a comer? I used to go to Pedro's restaurant. It's a very nice and cozy restaurant, just two blocks from here. And he's my friend, and I start to go when just he opened the place. There are, there are people from the neighborhood, people from the different areas, and it's like my home. Yeah, for lunch, and I love to eat a good steak or a nice piece of chicken and homemade ravioli, no all together, of course. Sí, 
el inglés sale más o menos bien porque la verdad es que me... Está perfecto, así como está, está muy bien, no te preocupes. Bueno. Picasso tampoco habla muy bien en inglés. No, pero negociaba mejor que yo. <risa> Vendía muy bien su obra. Ahora no era muy buena persona, ¿no? Era un genio malo. Un genio malo. Sí, no, no, no por genio. Genio era, pero malo como tipo. Y con un ojo de águila para ver la obra que, que venía, ¿no? Y bueno, lo reformulamos. A ver. From the beginning, my, my, the concept of my art, my, my, um, my main thing was the human being. What happened with the human being. The Argentinian came from the ships, you know, it's very common to say, the people say that. But also the Jewish came or traveled in big ships in this kind of nomadism around or across the, the world. Uh, and I mix this in my mind because it's my, the memories of my history, my own history. And, uh, and I think in this period uh, I start to to do these ships with people on, and the multitudes I, uh, uh, began in this moment. I, I paint like two series or three series at the same time. There are a, a, a period in, in the 78, I, I traveled to, to, to Paris to Antonio Segui's studio, and I worked there. Then I come, I, I, I came back in the, in the end of this 78 and I start with the multitudes and the and puzzle. A figurative art and a enigmatic art in the point in the in the view of um, uh, a lot of people, like a backup, I'm sorry, um, uh, like a close-up uh, on the ships, and the multitude came out. And and the whole canvas was uh, the immigration, the nomadism was there. Small line of people going, going everywhere, nowhere. I, I, I am thinking about uh, Igmar Berman and Fanny and Alexander. And this movie, I think uh, the first time we, we, we could see it in Buenos Aires was in, in, the, in, a, in 1980, okay? Uh, I catch a lot of images from, from the movie. I didn't realize the movie was so strong for my um, from my style in, in the, on the canvas. You think the mul multitudes in your canvas yes. are the Jewish? Could be. But in this moment, in the contemporary uh, m well, moment, uh, we have people walking around the world, even in this country. The people from the north are coming to, to the suburbs, to the suburbs, to live because they believe they are going to, to, to find a job in the big city. Yeah, the, the, in the multitudes, you can you can think when you when you see when you are watching the multitudes, also you can you can see um, anonymous people. Uh, 
everybody's running, everybody's um, is, is trying to, to find their place. And this is the concept of my work right now, the multitude, the crowds work, uh, working uh, in this job, the job of the work of uh, to find, you know, uh, ruins and, and big piece of land. Uh, without no uh, borders, without no frontiers. Dios manipula a los escritores, a los escultores, a los pintores, uh, como el titiritero maneja, trabaja con, estas, con estos hilos, uh, estos, eh, estas marionetas, uh, que tienen tanto misterio como el trabajo que hace el artista, en este caso. Y digo en este caso porque todo lo que yo hago con el alfabeto o lo que pretendo hacer con el alfabeto es un secreto. Y estos hilos manipulados eh, por Dios también están manipulados por el artista, por mí o por quien sea. And the letters here have a, in, the, in the end of the painting have a lot of different layers. And what is the idea? The idea is like a a um, secret page from a secret book, a very old book from the past. And it's very important, and, you know, uh, when I am when I, uh, I'm painting this, um, like a metaphysic mood, uh, an spiritual mood, because it's uh, so, um, the atmosphere of, 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 the, of the painting need to be You need to be like a, a very uh, a silent staff, uh, a, 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 some, um, a silent atmosphere to do it. This is a, the f one of the first layers. We have the dark here and the, and the red, cadmium red um, painting on. And then I use, um, I, I start to do the letters. And these letters, um, uh, you, you are not going to recognize what the letter says but you need to receive the impact of the idea. It's a very old page, and it's a, a page probably um, from the beginning of the last 2,000 years. What this uh, page says, nobody knows, even me. And Like I said, it's the inspiration. You are going to, you, you go inside the painting. I'm going inside the painting. I start to do the letters here with a very small brush. It's a, I, I can work in the, in the sand of the Hebrew letters, how to do it. Belongs to me, belongs to the You know, I, I inspired also in the Kabbalah, in the, in the magic of the Kabbalah. And uh, there are just few people who, who can uh, handle the Kabbalah. I am not one of them, of course, but uh, I wrote uh, some books about it. And the, the, the Kabbalah and the atmosphere and the magic embodied me. Somebody is able to decipher this. Are you afraid that somebody might come and decipher the, the 
Nobody is going to do it. Uh, because if uh, this work alive for, for and I in my mind for all this time uh, and discover and, and, and describe the language of the, the people who round who round around the world, uh, nobody knows what the people said, what, what, what the people uh, believe. But I think also it's a very religious um, stuff. I, 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 I believe on that. It's, this is my phone, somebody's uh, call, phone, somebody's called me. <laughs> in a book, chapters. The alphabet, the black and white paintings, the paintings in the in 86, 76. Now I discovered to work this uh, three-dimensional stuff with the steel wool uh, and I really was surprised in the morning when I discovered that because it's another material and I never try with uh, 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 it's like if I paint with the steel wool and I really are involved in that I love the bright lines and, as, and I associate the image with the multitude and also the mythological animals came also from the Biruta. With the air in ears, the Biruta became like um, gold, brown, uh, because it's uh, mute, mute, mutation, mu mute, mutates, mutates like um, the society. That is the idea. An ocean uh, in the staff is like. Um, Something is destroyed. Ergo, ¿están filmando? Bueno. I've been a lot of time, a lot of time, uh, 20 or more years, but what I proved myself is I am in the same line. Are, are, you, are, are you talking about the the these diabolic pets or, or whatever in in, the, in these paintings in, in the eighties? And now, two years ago, I start to paint this black and white uh, stuff. You know, with this, it's almost abstract painting again. But you can see uh, uh, mythological animals. I don't know if this met. These animals are from the past, probably, or from, or, or are coming from in the future, or, or, or are in, in the future. You know, you, you start a painting, you don't know where are going with the painting or with the, the image. Everything is part of the evolution in my work, at least in my work, and I think it's uh, in, all the, in, in all art is the same thing. Uh, I finish the painting, I start another one, or I'm painting this one, I'm, I put in a, in a new one in the easel, and I paint both together. And what happened? Probably I'm, I'm thinking about this one in a very tight way. And then I open my mind in the other one. You know, it's like a dog. If you, how would say, if you uh, have the dog, uh, tie on, on, the, on the tree when you 
Oh, when you... Uh, um, uh, I'm so sorry, but I need to find the words. Uh, when the, the dog, they were running, it's crazy and it's, uh, you know, spontaneous, it's, it's, it's have more uh, for, uh, strong um, attitudes, etc. It's, it's, it's what happened with me when I am uh, doing that. You feel unleashed. Unleashed. Well, you have a very nice word in English. But uh, I lose uh, it. now I feel legitimized because I also started this documentary and I don't know where I'm going with it. All right, you are an artist like me. Where are we going with this documentary? Nothing. I think the people is going to see uh, how an artist is making a... a, a a painting and the other artist is doing a, a documentary uh, stuff. And it's, I think it's very, um, it's, it's, it's like go to the intimate world of these people and also uh, they can see what happened in the real world. Mm -hmm.